In late 2003, the GoBlox Alpha build was replaced by the first playable version of Roblox that goes with the name, Dynablox Beta. While many people say that you couldn't play any games from the website at the time due to it being mainly developer only, it seemed that some kind of glitch happened that made the game public for one day. Which sadly led to me finding the website. The year is 2004, many good games were released. I also loved playing on my Nintendo DS. However I decided to search for games on my computer to play after I beat Super Mario 64 DS, I typed games in the search bar and found the usual Flash games, however, I saw a link to a website called, Dynablox.com. When I clicked on it, it said, be a beta tester. I thought that the game was in beta, but I wanted to play it as I wanted to see what this game was. I clicked on the download button, the file was named, Dynablox.bat. I never saw a batch file as I usually see games downloaded as an executable file. I clicked on it, when the file opened, there was a black and then white screen, soon switching to its main page. I found it weird that there wasn't a login page, but I decided to move along. During this time, I clicked on a game, it was a puzzle game called, John's Puzzle Game. I played it but I got very bored, I wanted to leave the game, however, when I clicked on the close tab button, it didn't close the tab. The screen of the tab soon became a dark screen, eventually sending a new tab with a new game, this game however was called, Run. I wanted to click start to move my figure but it was too late, the figure got crushed by a giant 3D circle with a low quality screaming voice. The game then became a black screen and showing a red text saying, Boring game you say. I was shocked. The close tab button went transparent, where you couldn't click off the tab. I was scared, I wanted to close off the tab, but the horror continued. It soon teleported me to an another game. This time called, You Can't, where I'm in a point of view of another Dynablox figure. The music soon became static, and soon got louder. I didn't want to see who was behind me so I kept running, it felt like it went on forever. The more I kept running the more dark the screen got till the point where it was completely black. When it turned completely black, I would hear a scream, the game then shut itself. When I clicked on the batch again, it froze my PC and showed very disturbing images. I shut off my PC as I couldn't take this anymore. It turns out my computer was getting really loud and hot inside, I didn't play a PC game for weeks. I didn't tell anybody about this as I knew they would think this was some kind of joke I came up with. When I searched for the website again, it wouldn't show up as if this was a dream, but it felt so real. In 2007, I bought a new Windows computer called, Windows Vista, that would replace my old Windows XP computer that I had during that disturbing encounter I had with this game, 